come to Bound with Babs. I'm Babs. Come take a seat on your mat and close your eyes. Immediately start to grow tall through your spine. Create a stronger, more open seated posture. focusing on the center of your being and just notice how you inhale through the nose what does it do to the belly and then exhale through the mouth what does it do to the center of your body inhale feel the expansion exhale as you feel the contraction belly button comes towards spine, just slowing down your breath. There's a study somewhere that says six to eight slow breaths where the exhales longer than the inhale will dramatically reduce your blood pressure, calm you down, reduce your heart rate, stress, release tension in just that simple amount of breaths. So let's take 10 together, inhaling for a count of three, and then exhaling for a count of five, through the mouth. Nine more like that. Intentionally inhale, intentionally exhale. Inhaling for three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Two more. your hands, palms together and heart center. Place the thumbs right to your sternum, right near your heart. And just notice if your body has changed at all, if your mind's changed at all, just from those slow, conscious, intentional breaths. And if not, don't worry, it'll come with practice with trusting your body, and then release the hands by your sides. Push down through the fingertips to sit up nice and tall. Then see if you can keep the length in the spine where you are, and then inhale, reach the arms up, stretch up, and then hands come down to heart center. And then we'll slowly come into all fours, and then we'll come right down into a child's pose. So opening up the knees wide, big toes come together. If you're a little bit uncomfortable in child's pose, take a pillow or a bolster or a rolled up blanket underneath your hips and your heels. And then just snuggle your hips down and then start to walk your hands forward. And if you have blocks, maybe bring the blocks closer, bring the floor to you. And then stretch the arms long, open up the fingertips, neck is long. Notice the inhale breath, how that feels in the center of your body. And then notice how the exhale breath feels in the center of your body. Up, then walk your hands over towards the right. 
You can take that block along with you if you have one. Stretching and lengthening through that left arm, left ribs, left hip. Breathing into that left lung left ribs open, another breath in, exhale, and then inhale, chest, head rises, back to center, take your block with you if that helped, and then walk your hands over towards the left, head can come down onto the block or the mat, and again, taking a breath into that now right lung, right side body, right ribs. Feel the expansion on the inhale. And feel the contraction away from you on the exhale. And then inhale, rise back up, coming back into your normal child's pose. Straight on for three breaths. Letting your body ease into your practice. Calming your mind down if it's in a busy or anxious state. Or maybe it's slow and lethargic and you want to improve the blood flow, improve the alertness. Whichever sensation you are trying to feel, just keep that in your mind. And then inhale, coming on to all fours. We'll remove the pillow out to our side. And then hands and knees pose. Tuck the toes under. Gazes down slightly in front of you. Long neck. Fingertips wide. Shoulders, elbows, wrists. Hips, knees. And then your next inhale, drop the belly, slight bend in the elbows as you lift the chin and the chest up. And then curl through the fingertips as you really engage through the arms, puff the back of the heart up. Inhale, coming forward, rolling the shoulder blades back, lifting up. Exhale to curl through the chin, the upper back, the mid back, the lower spine. Three more, moving at your own pace. Feel free to untuck the toes for the last three cycles. As you inhale, push it onto the tops of the feet and really feel the legs firing up. And one more, inhale, coming forward. Exhale, curling up. And then find this contraction to tuck the toes back under, lift the knees, and bring yourself all the way up into a downward facing dog. Spread the feet hip distance, hands are shoulder distance. Spreading the fingers wide, bend in the elbow slightly so you're really turning the inner elbows forward. And then bend one knee and then bend the other. Maybe gaze over underneath one armpit and then the other. Maintaining your breath. And then coming up high onto the toes and then push back onto the heels. And then nice and slow, we're gonna walk our feet all the way to the top of the mat. Relaxing your head, your chest, your neck, over your legs. Let your arms be heavy. Open up your legs if you feel a little bit wobbly. And then grab for opposite elbows. Let the top of the head really shoot down towards the ground in between your arms. Use your hands to Pull the elbows down and away from your neck. Take another breath in here. Exhale, release the hands. Hug behind the legs now. Curling your body into a little ball. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale your next inhale flat back hands to shins exhale hug it in two more inhale flat back exhale hug belly towards thighs last one here and then look down plant your hands down walking back into your plank pose separate the feet draw the heels back away from you gaze is just in front of you neck long strong arms slight bend in the elbow take two more breaths here and then nice and slow bending at the elbows coming all the way down untuck the feet roll the shoulder blades back as you lift the chest up Engage the lower spine, maybe lifting those arms so they hover over the mat. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Push your hands into the mat, tuck the toes under, coming all the way back onto your knees. And then legs together, coming into a child's pose in this position. Stretching your arms forward, the head falls down. Can you challenge yourself to really focus on your breath here? And then pull yourself forward back into all fours. We'll shift our weight into that left knee. Inhale, reach the right leg back, roll the ankle around. we're going to open up the hips and at that inner portion of the foot is facing the floor and then we're going to slowly bring that knee up towards the shoulder back and around so that toe is pointed and then tilt that leg so the back edge of the foot is facing the sky knee up towards the shoulder and roll all the way through go nice and slow just feeling into the hip. Two more. And then extend it back, lift the head and the chest up. And then exhale, knee towards the nose or forehead. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale to lift. Exhale, in last one. And then place the knee down, coming up onto the shins. Roll the shoulders back and away. And then tuck the toes under, sink back onto the heels, giving the wrists a little bit of a break giving the toes a little bit of a stretch. Gaze is forward, relaxed shoulders before we move on to the other side. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, coming back into all fours, shifting the weight to the right, extending the left, turning that inner portion of the foot down. So you're rotating out. Then draw knee towards shoulder, back and around. Take four more like this, going nice and slow, just opening up through the hip. Breathing. And then extending the leg, point the toe, lift the head and the chest up. And then exhale, contract, curl in, four more. Good, 
open, dropping the knee down, tucking the toes, coming back onto the heels. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Take a few breaths. And then inhale, bring your arms forward parallel to the ground. And then inhale here to lift the arms up. Exhale, draw the hands down to heart center and lift those knees up. So inhale, drop the knees, lift the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to heart center as you lift the knees up, balance for a second. And here we go, inhale, knees down, lifting arms. Exhale, curl, contract the core as you lift up. I think I said two more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands come down all the way and pause for a second. Then hands come down towards the mat. Then inhale, slowly start to lift the hips up towards the sky, heels root down to the ground, head becomes heavy, lengthens, spine relaxes, forward fold. Widen the feet if that felt good before. Just welcome yourself back into this position, noticing if the hamstrings can give you a little bit more, allowing them to just be where they are, breathe into them, move the hips around a little, and then three flat backs to a forward fold. So inhale, lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. And then hands come down to the ground and you're gonna walk yourself all the way into a plank. Bring the feet back, hands forward. Slowly lowering all the way down to the mat. Untuck the toes. Inhale, push through the hands as you lift the chest up. Exhale, slowly lower. Push through the hands, tuck the toes coming up onto the knees, and then sink your way back towards the heels. Upper body melts towards the earth. Slow down your breath. Fill your body with more breath. And then inhale, hands pull you forward into all fours. Shift your weight to the left. Last little session here. Reach that right leg back. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, bring knee up towards right shoulder. Inhale here. Exhale over towards right wrist. Inhale here. Exhale over towards left wrist. Inhale here. Exhale up towards left armpit. Inhale here. Exhale bring it back. Inhale here. Exhale extend that leg out. Inhale lift the chest up. And exhale bring those right toes down onto the ground. Bring the left toes out towards the left side. Come on to the inner portion of that right foot. Push to the left hand as you reach your right arm all the way up. Opening up through your chest. And then inhale, bring your hand facing down towards the ground. And then follow that hand all the way down. Plant the hand, extend that right leg for the last time. And then exhale, releasing knee, closing down, coming back into child's pose, three breaths. Inhale, lifting back up. Exhale, extend the left leg back. Roll the ankle around. Now find a big inhale. 
up. Exhale, left shoulder, inhale here. Exhale, left wrist, inhale. Exhale, right wrist, inhale. Exhale, right armpit, inhale. Exhale, extend the leg, lift the head and the chest up. And then plant the back toes down. Kick the right heel out towards the right. Push through the right hand as you come up, lifting that left arm, opening up the chest wide, spreading the fingers. Two more breaths in, lift. Exhale, inhale, exhale, slowly lowering all the way down, extending left leg last time, and exhale, child's pose, three breaths, melt, relax, release. towards the sides then coming into a seated position coming on to that bolster again if that felt good notice if there's any change in your body can you breathe a little bit deeper can you sit a little bit taller Thank you for doing something good for your body. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms come together. Thumbs meet our third eye chakra, connecting mind to our body. Inhale, exhale, thumbs to our heart chakra, connecting to our center of love, giving and receiving. And we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope that you like the practice.